TDR Network presents Inspire 2015. I pray Salah sometimes, but a lot of times I don't pray my Salah. And if I do pray, maybe I'll pray one or two Salah per day. Even though I don't keep up with my Salah regularly, I don't feel there's a change in my life. I don't feel like praying Salah benefits my life or it does anything good for me. So could you explain why salah is important and uh, just clarify? Bismillah ar rahim And we, we all know even the one with the least amount of knowledge realizes the importance of salah, correct? Al-ahdu alladhi baynana wa baynahumu salah fa man tarakaha faqad kafa. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says the covenant, that the difference between us and them is the salah. Whoever left it is a kafir. I'm not saying whoever leaves that person is a kafir. No, no, just relax. We're saying is that uh, obviously there is a difference of opinion, but there's no disagreement that if someone believes is not important to pray, then that would be a dangerous aspect. That's very clear. May Allah protect us. But for someone who lacks their prayers, some people will say, you know what, I want to stop my salah until I'm able to pray all five at the same time. No, at minimum, it's, you know, there's a, we call it, you can have the least problem by, let's say you pray the Fajr and Dhuhr, you have a problem with Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. Is that better or leaving Fajr and Dhuhr completely? What's the logic? At least pray the minimum. Isn't it correct? It will perhaps save you a little bit. But that's something to keep in mind is that this should not discourage you, point number one, from quitting whatever you're praying currently. That's the main point right here. Then you build from there. My personal opinion, the strongest of means to help you in your salah is to have good companionship. Remember this, one of the strongest means. I'm, I'm an example in front of you here. I moved from one city to another city. I'm having a hard time praying Fajr in the masjid, having serious hard time. Recently moved, I don't have much companionship. Where I, where I was living, I hardly remember missing Fajr once in the masjid. Why? Because we had a strong companionship, very solid. No matter how weak I am, we get three people call me, Brother Majid, wake up. Wallahi, they would come to my window, in my bedroom, knocking on my window. When you have such companionship, do you think you'll ever miss a salah? But look after that move, and I'm the speaker and would give and travel and so on. Wallahi, nothing. That if the Prophet was advised to have good companionship, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then what about us? That's something to keep in mind. I'm talking from the companionship aspect. Uh, please, you need to add upon this, inshallah. Go ahead. No, mashallah, of course, the, like the Sheikh said, mashallah, the, the, the issue of salat, yani, we call this... Ma- it's compulsory, you have to do it, it's very important. Even if the person, maybe at one stage, shaitan gets to him and he feels that salah is not affecting his life or is not benefiting him. You know, our deen is called the deen of Islam because it has, of course, submission. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordains something and makes something compulsory for us, then definitely I have to submit and accept that this is beneficial for me. It's beneficial for my deen, beneficial for my dunya, beneficial for my akhirah, my hereafter. Maybe I don't feel it because my heart's not as sensitive yet. Maybe my, maybe my life is full of sin, so I don't have a sensitive heart. You know, sins sometimes they, they cover the heart. Sometimes sin, they cover the heart. You become, your heart become, becomes insensitive, you know. You don't, you don't feel things that are haram or things that are halal and beneficial. So your judgment, you know, should not be, should not have that much weight in your opinion. Rather, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it's important, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam emphasizes salah so much, I submit and I know that al-khayr, kull al-khayr, all goodness is in having istiqama on my salah, which is very, very clear and very understood. Now I advise like Sheikh Majid said, it's very, very important that the person, you know, finds a good companionship to support him in this salat. And don't allow shaitan to get you when you miss a salah. This is the shaitan's biggest door in our time. If you miss one salah, shaitan comes to you and say, ah, oh, you're lost anyway, there's no point, leave everything you're doing. What we say is, no, no, whatever, whatever I can do, I do, I build up slowly, like, like the Shaykh Mashallah Asam said also that, you know, build up, build up your salat. If you don't pray at all, maybe start with one salah, two salah. No, it's not saying that it's not compulsory, they're all compulsory, of course. The five prayers are compulsory, but sometimes if I, if I want to pray, pray the whole five, I buckle and I, you know, and I, and I can't do it. Rather, build up slowly, achieve and make up the salawat, inshallah, that you have missed. And you will find great change and great influence on your life, inshallah. Allah says, Inna salata tanha anil fahshai wal munkar. Verily, this salat 
It stops the person from falling in further sin and further haram and fahsha and munkar. Jazakumullah khair shiukh. Donate now. TheDailyReminder.org slash donate. Mm-hmm.